Good afternoon, I'm Julia Skarbowski and this is a Penn State News Update. Our top story, thousands of people are heading into State College this week for one of the biggest art shows on the East Coast, the Central Pennsylvania of the Arts. It begins tomorrow with Kids Day and runs through the weekend. The event dates back to 1967. It features artists from around the country displaying and selling their work. Kids can enjoy free arts and craft workshops, performers, and water activities to cool off. The event typically draws up to 125,000 people. And just as thousands begin to arrive here in State College for Arts Fest, the National Weather Service has issued a heat advisory for the area. Temperatures are expected to reach the mid-90s with the heat index topping 100 degrees. The advisory is in effect until tomorrow night. Just a few weeks into the summer, workers at the Penn State Student Farm are already busy harvesting fresh produce. The Floor Acre Farm, located off Big Hollow Road near Beaver Stadium, is managed by the Student Farm Club and intern produce grown here is distributed to student dining halls, food pantries, and other places on campus. The farm is growing too, adding several improvements this year and looking to construct a new building for educational opportunities and sustainable food production. And the Live After Five concert series is back again this year. Voc local musicians perform every Wednesday at 5.30 at the Martin Luther King Plaza in State College. The Downtown Improvement District started the series a few years ago as a way to enjoy a safe outdoor activity during the pandemic and to help promote the downtown area in the summer. The concerts are taking a break for Arts Fest this week, but will return next Wednesday. Checking sports. The State College Spikes are back in action tonight against Mahoning Valley. The Spikes, an MLB draft team, are coming off a two-game sweep and had yesterday off. Tonight starts a three-game series and it's also Bark in the Park night. And fans can bring their dog to the stadium. And checking our weather forecast, it'll be another hot day today in the high 90s. The heat advisory continues through tomorrow night. We may also see some thunderstorms tomorrow as what's left of Hurricane Barrel moves across Pennsylvania. Cooler weather is expected later in this week. That's all for this news update. I'm Julia Skarbowski. Thank you for joining us.